This is Thor the Pitbull. He really loves walks. He'll walk as long as you'll take him. At just 16 months old, he's probably done more walking and seen more of the country than most dogs ever will. It certainly wouldn't be something that he did on his own wandering that far. This past May, Thor's owner, Eddie Hurtado, was one of the hundreds forced from their San Marcos homes by the raging Blanco River. Eddie says there was no time to grab the dogs. I figured they'll jump on the deck and they'll be okay, you know? Eddie, his wife, and grandkids would eventually return to a flooded home and missing dogs. Two were soon found, but Thor wouldn't turn up for another four months. I didn't think he was going to be found in Northern California. Yes, that's right. Somehow, Thor journeyed more than 2,000 miles from San Marcos, west to the Pacific coast, and then north to Crescent City, California. It was seen by a member of the public jumping off of back of a truck, and the truck went away without him. He ended up at the Del Norte County Animal Shelter, where thankfully they discovered Thor was microchipped. It was one of the rare situations where an animal was chipped and the information was correct. So we were able to get a hold of the owner pretty quickly. But Thor's journey home almost immediately hit a roadblock. His family can't afford the more than $1,500 it would cost to bring the pit bull back to San Marcos. We're having to replace all the furniture, all the uh, appliances, and right now we don't have any extra cash to, uh, to try to see if we can get him down here. Now comes good news. The animal shelter says a long-haul truck driver has volunteered to drive Thor to Texas. In the meantime, we're taking good care of, of him and giving them the time to make all those arrangements. Ever since my grandson found out that he was out there, uh, he says that that's what he wants for Christmas. He wants to get his baby back. Robert Price, Fox News at 9.